President Sidras last night we included a call for national unity. Um, I was wondering if you're surprised that there hasn't been that kind of unity um, as you may have seen in previous attacks, for example, in the after 9-11. Uh, that's, an, that's a thought-provoking question, actually. I don't think that I'd at least carefully considered it. Um, I, I guess there are two things that immediately come to mind. The first is something I think that the President noted directly. The President referred to that national unity in the context, as I recall, uh, of being part of every element of uh, America's capability to protect the country. Uh, that one of the things that makes America so strong and so powerful and so influential uh, is the fact that we're a very diverse country that is very united uh, around a set of core principles. Uh, and uh, that only serves to uh, enhance our national security, uh, but it also makes this the greatest country in the world. Uh, that's the first thing that comes to mind. I think the second thing that comes to mind is um, you know, that a lot of these issues are being discussed uh, in the context of a hotly competitive presidential election. And we have seen a willingness on the part of some candidates in that election uh, to use some uh, divisive rhetoric. Uh, and they have done that, I think, in rather cynical fashion, uh, understanding that it runs contrary to the values of our country, but also understanding that the intensity of some of those emotions could propel their political campaigns. So that's a a pretty cynical conclusion that uh, I think some might say is automatically disqualifying to serve in uh, the Oval Office, but uh, obviously the American people will make that determination.